Flying cars and air taxis are considered as a potential solution to the strain on existing transport infrastructures. A consultant company, Morgan Stanley, predicted the flying car sector could be worth $1.5 trillion by 2040. More than 100 electric air taxi designs are already in the works and some of them have been flying in cities. We have talked about several flying car and taxi projects on this channel, you can check the link in the description to watch them. In this video, we are going to talk about the new ones which were unveiled recently. Joby Aviation's S4 The S4 is a 5-seat electric vertical takeoff and landing or eVTOL vehicle with 6 tilting propellers located on both the fixed wing and its V-tail. This air taxi is manufactured by Joby Aviation, a California-based aerospace company. The S4 can take off vertically, like a helicopter, and then shift into a forward flight using tilt rotors. It can reach a top speed of 200 miles per hour or 323 kilometers per hour, can travel 150 miles or 241 kilometers on a single charge, and is 100 times quieter than a conventional aircraft. According to Joby, each aircraft is expected to cost $1.3 million to manufacture, with the potential to reduce that amount by a half in the future. Assuming that each aircraft will fly 7 hours a day, spend 12 hours in operations, and carrying an average of 2.3 passengers per trip, Joby projects that each aircraft will generate $2.2 million in revenue per year. With Toyota as a manufacturing partner, Joby predicts that it will begin its commercial passenger service in 2024 in cities such as Los Angeles, Miami, New York, and San Francisco. Cesare Developed by Baycar Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Systems in Turkey, Cesare is Turkey's first flying car which is designed to be used for green urban aerial transport for persons and cargo. In addition to that, the Cesare can be used in remote areas for search and rescue and military supply missions. It can also be used for the delivery of time-critical packages and medicines in congested urban cities. Powered by 8 rechargeable electric batteries and propelled by 8 motors, the 230kg or 510lb quadcopter has a maximum cruise speed of 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour, with 70 to 80 km or 43 to 50 miles range and 1 hour flight time. It has a maximum payload of 100 kg or 220 pounds and it can fly up to an altitude of 2000 meters or 6561 feet. The current version of Cesare can carry one passenger only, but the next versions will have room for more. 7-Seater Lilium Jet The 7-Seater Lilium Jet is an updated version of Lilium's 5-seater air taxi that can carry six passengers and one pilot. Since 2015, Lilium has designed, built, and tested four generations of prototypes through an iterative process. And now, the company is working on this 7-seater, an aircraft which will enable a sustainable and accessible mode of high-speed travel. The 7-seater has a cruise speed of 175 miles per hour, or 282 kilometers per hour, and flies at 10,000 feet, or 3,048 meters, with a range of 155 miles, or 250 kilometers. The aircraft uses Lilium's proprietary ducted electric vectored thrust technology, which is made up of 36 electric ducted turbofan engines integrated into the wing flaps and allows Lilium to lower noise emissions and its ground footprint. The company is planning to use the 7-seater in commercial operations starting in 2024. To meet this goal and to fund its growth, Lilium will list itself on the NASDAQ through a merger with Kell Acquisition Corp with the goal of raising $830 million for the company. Lilium is planning to have an electric air mobility network of up to 14 sites with about 125 jets operating in the city of Orlando by 2025. Using approximately 190 jets, Lilium will also operate in Germany through agreements with Köln Bonn Airport and Dusseldorf Airport. The company says ticket prices for clients will be similar to other high-end modes of transport, but costs will go down as passenger volumes increase. Volo City Manufactured by Volocopter, Volo City is the company's fourth-generation eVTOL vehicle 
that can fly at speeds of 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour with a range of 35 km or 22 miles, and a top speed of about 70 miles per hour or 113 km per hour. The company's first three vehicles were created for testing and demonstration purposes and have flown more than 1,000 times. The 18-rotor air taxi is designed for transporting up to two people, including light luggage like backpacks, briefcases, or purses. Its batteries can be changed out in about five minutes, which drastically reduces turnaround times and allows for almost continuous service of the aircraft. For safe takeoffs and landings, Volocopter is planning to build the Voloports throughout urban areas and include international airports as debarking and destination points. Volocopter will not be selling its aircraft to individuals. Instead, it will be running an air taxi service at competitive prices. The company says it's targeting a first public test flight for quarter four of this year in Singapore. Apart from Volo City, Volocopter is also developing Volo Connect and Volo Drone. The Volo Connect will work as an extension of Volo City Urban Air Taxi Services, connecting the city and suburbs, whereas the Volo Drone is the heavy lift and versatile cargo drone that can transport a 200 kilograms or 440 pounds payload up to 40 kilometers or 25 miles. Maker. Another company entering the flying taxi market is a Silicon Valley aviation startup called Archer Aviation. The company recently revealed its prototype electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft called Maker. With a weight of 1,508 kilograms or 3,324 pounds, this gleaming silver airplane helicopter hybrid vehicle will be capable of traveling 60 miles or 97 kilometers at 150 miles per hour or 241 kilometers per hour thanks to its 75 kilowatt hour battery. The current prototype has room for two, but the company says it expects to eventually build a five-seater aircraft to serve as the main vehicle in its eventual commercial operation, which it plans to launch in 2024. Archer plans to go public through a $3.8 billion reverse merger with a special acquisition company, Atlas Crest Investment Corp. The merger is also backed by Stellantis, the parent company of Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot and United Airlines. United has placed a $1 billion order for 200 Archer aircraft, with an option to purchase 100 more for $500 million. Sky Sky is the first hydrogen-powered eVTOL vehicle currently in development. With the use of hydrogen fuel cells, Sky will have enough power for longer flights and carry more weight compared to the competitors using batteries. This is because hydrogen used in fuel cells has an energy weight ratio 10 times greater than lithium-ion batteries. Manufactured by Massachusetts-based Alakai Technologies, Sky will be able to fly 5 people or 1,000 pounds or 453 kilograms of cargo up to 400 miles or 644 kilometers, between 2 and 4 hours of flight depending on the size of the aircraft's fuel tank. Equipped with six quiet electric motors powered by three hydrogen fuel cells that generate 100 kilowatts of electricity, Sky can reach a top speed of 200 miles per hour or 323 kilometers per hour. Alakai teamed up with BMW owned global creative consultancy DesignWorks to co-design this comfortable and stylish looking air taxi. The company plans to produce 10,000 aircraft a year, and the target price for each aircraft will be around $200,000, though it says the early models will likely be much pricier. Airspeeder Now that flying cars are becoming a thing, a Sydney company Alata Aeronautics decided to make a flying race car. The Airspeeder is an electric vertical takeoff and landing craft that draws its design inspiration from the racing cars of the 1950s and 1960s. Weighing just 130 kilograms or 286 pounds, the Airspeeder will be able to travel at speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour or 124 miles per hour, accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.8 seconds and climb up to 1,640 feet or 500 meters. The vehicle has four arms extending from its carbon fiber body, 
each with a pair of rotors, for a total output of 429 horsepower or 320 kilowatts, comparable to what an Audi SQ7 can produce. Once all approvals and certifications are granted, the airspeeder will accommodate one pilot in the cockpit, much like a Formula One car. The airspeeder took its first unmanned remotely controlled flight in Southern Australia. A lot of plans the first unmanned races in 2021, and the manned races in 2022. Klein Vision Air Car Unlike the drone-like flying cars shown in this list, the Klein Vision Air Car looks more like a traditional automobile but with flying capabilities. It has stowaway wings that can fold away to the side, and an elongated tail that retracts into the sports car body. On June 28, 2021, Aircar completed a 35-minute intercity flight test in its home country of Slovakia. The vehicle takes 2 minutes and 15 seconds to transform from a car into aircraft, and it can carry two people with a combined weight limit of 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. Powered by a 160-horsepower BMW engine, the Aircar has now completed more than 40 hours of flight tests, including flying at 8,200 feet or 2,500 meters and reaching a maximum cruising speed of 190 km per hour or 118 miles per hour. Klein Vision plans to develop three- and four-seater models of the Aircar, twin-engine, and amphibious versions. The current prototype has taken about two years to develop and costs less than $2.4 million of investment. So, what do you think of these vehicles? Which one did you like the most? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.